The bye weeks are over, eight consecutive games at home. How has the two weeks been off to prepare for this coming uh, long stretch? I think the players uh, needed the time off. Um, you know, they had a few days to themselves, to some of them to go back to the United States to visit family and friends. But uh, other than that, we've been on the training ground working uh, over the past two weeks and getting some specific work done. So we're very much looking forward to this home stint. And Wilmington is an organized team, strong style of play, similar to you guys. What is going to be the difference to come away with three points? I think the energy right from the start, you know, where we're going to be playing a home game and uh, trying to get the crowd into it, trying to maximize possession and, and trying to create as many scoring chances as possible is going to be key for us. Uh, but at the same time, we don't need to score in the first 10, 15 minutes. We just got to make sure we're uh, strong defensively, keep ourselves in the game and then uh, create chances as the game goes on. And you have some young guys named to the Pan Am roster. Are you happy for them? Are you excited? And will that be, be bringing academy players up for you guys? Yes, I'm delighted for them. You know, uh, all of us at the club are always supporting Canadian football. Uh, and we want to give the kids as, as many opportunities and exposure as possible. I believe they played Brazil in their first game, so that'll be a good test for them. Um, and over the last several weeks, uh, you can see that we brought up Liam Fraser and Gabby Buaki uh, to try and integrate them into our squad. So uh, the process has already begun in terms of making sure that players uh, have gotten sufficient minutes uh, in to make sure that we have enough depth uh, approaching all these games. Um, you guys are now embarking on a new a new challenge. You guys aren't playing on the road. You're playing eight games on the on the home. Do you think it's uh, like how are you going to keep the team focused on it? Like, is it a little bit different to being on the road? Like, how do you? Um, in terms of our preparation, nothing really changes. It's just now that we have to be the aggressor in terms of the home team. You know, it's different when you're on the away. Uh, in away matches, sometimes you can be sit back a little bit more, be a little bit more compact, and try to catch teams on the break. Uh, naturally, uh, when you play it on the on the road, you may not have the majority of possession. Um, but now you're the home team. We have to learn how to play at home. We have to learn how to uh, control games and create chances and be the aggressors. So uh, we've only played one home game thus far, but now this is our challenge as a team. And the sort of evolution that we'll go through over the next couple of months. Uh, is there like a certain area of the team that or a certain area on the field that you think needs to be more consistent or do you need like needs to be put maybe needs to work a little bit more or is it like the team the team is playing fairly well but do you think it's that consistency that's really the big problem? Yeah I think it's the consistency you know we've we've gone through games where we've kept clean sheets other games where we've uh, you know we've shift in a lot of goals and you know there's been games that we haven't scored and other games that we have scored so it's, it's trying to find the balance that consistency in all aspects of our game defensively in transition as well as from the attacking uh, side of the game so we'll be looking to try and create as many chances as we can and hopefully we'll take a few chances uh, on the upcoming game on Saturday. The, uh, the game next week against Montreal at the OSA uh, I guess a home opener at the OSA um, Obviously, 401 nicknamed the 401 Derby with the first teams, a pretty well-known rivalry. Do you see that carry on against the US with the USL teams? Yeah, when we played them down down at their place in March, uh, that was part of our pre-game sort of presentation to the players was that it's it's a 401 Derby. You know, it's the exact same thing applies to this team as well. Um, it's Ontario versus Quebec. It's you know French, English. It's Toronto versus uh, Montreal's Habs versus Leaf. That you know that that sort of rivalry runs deep, and it's the exact same thing for our, for our team. So we'll be looking forward to that match. But uh, first things first, we need to look after Wilmington. And how important is that fan support at the the OSA game? Well, obviously this week, uh, Wilmington and with Montreal OSA. And does that give you more motivation to, to, to play against Montreal with the rivalry with the fan support? Well, for sure, you know, this past week we had the fans come in for the season ticket holder um, sort of event here and that support and that eagerness and anticipation to the first game at the OSA um, Centre is, is building up. So we need to put uh, take care of business this upcoming weekend, make sure we put in a good performance and that will always, um, you know, get the excitement going for the, for the following matches to come.